Something wasn't right that day. Pfeiffer was the first chief into the building. Right away, a guy from the Port Authority told him the damage was somewhere above the 78th floor. But all you had to do was look around. It was obvious. Something had happened right there in the lobby. You just, you just saw that all the windows were blown out. The lobby looked like the plane hit the lobby. NBC's Pat Dawson is close to the scene of that attack. Pat, just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. He received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. There was another explosion which took place. According to his theory, he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. Very strong. Boom! An explosion so hard that pushed us upwards. Upwards. Rick Sanchez has been there throughout this morning for us. Rick, tell us where you are and what the latest is. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. Jack, what can you tell us happened first in New York? Um, apparently what appears to happen was that at the same time two planes hit the building that the FBI most likely thinks that there was a car or truck packed with explosives underneath the buildings which also exploded at the same time and brought both of them down. Now that's the first time we're hearing that. So two planes and explosives that were in the building, is that correct? That is the working theory at this point. That is still unconfirmed. But that is what the FBI is going on at this point. We had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. We've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. We ran down the steps to the lobby. There was no lobby. Everything was torn up. So we continued down the stairs. We came outside the lobby. There was no lobby. The lobby was totally gone. Did you see other people? People. There's a woman named her face blown off. It looks like a ghost town. There are um, federal agents with guns standing outside the federal buildings, clearing people out. The only thing left in the street are people's shoes as they ran out of their shoes to escape the firebombs and the explosions. I saw the plane come at this point in a spot, go factory directly to the building. Was this the was first plane or the second plane? That was the first plane. The second plane, is this? no second plane. It was a bomb. Bomb in another building, not second plane. That was a bomb. Like, it sounded like gunfire, you know, bang, 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 and then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. You know, it was boom, boom, and the floor started shaking, and then we saw debris fall down, and next thing we know, we had to get out of the building. We stuck on the stairs for a while, we finally got down to the lobby, then we get to the lobby, it was this big explosion. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion, and another rumble. And then a fire marshal came in and said we had to leave, because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. It just went ba-boom, it was like a bomb went off. And it was like, it was like holy hell coming down them stairs. And then when we go, we got, finally got to the bottom, they were coming out on a, a mezzanine level there, and another explosion came right from it, because everything went flying. What did we do? We made it outside, we made it about a block. We made it at least two blocks, two blocks. and we started running. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was like, it was if, if it had detonated. Yeah, you know, detonated. If they were planned yeah. to take down a building. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. I was watching ran. it and running. It just ran. Up. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, there was a uh, heavy duty explosion. A truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge. Uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said that enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, here's one of the guys, he can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? Oh, right you got to get back from here. Yeah. 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 You know that, you got to get back. Yeah. All right, all right. Time, Don't worry about me. You need to make calls yeah. right now. Yeah. All right. Bomb in the building start clearing out. Sorry, you said there's a bomb? What'd you say? A bomb in the building start clearing out. Got it.
started walking down the stairs. We made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. Oh, Lord. You hear that? Keep your eye on that building. It's been coming down. The building is about to blow up. Move it back. All right, guys. We are walking back. It's a building about to blow up. Just in the last few seconds, another building, building number seven, one of the buildings uh, in support of the World Trade Center towers has collapsed. This is no small building, as you can see, at 47 stories. It would stand out in most American cities. The Red Cross rep was like, he goes over and he, and he, and he says, well, you got to stay behind this line because they're thinking about bringing a building down. They didn't say what building, they just said bringing a building down. So we're like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll take their word before it, you know, we'll stay behind the line. And he went over and he talked to one of the, uh, through all the commotion, he goes over and he asked one of the Red Cross, or one of the firefighters, what was going on. I guess, I don't know if he got an answer or not. He came back over with his hand over the radio, and it sounded like a countdown. And at the last few seconds, he took his hand off, and you heard three, two, one, and he was just saying, just run for your life, just run for your life. And then it was like another two, three seconds, you heard explosions, like ba boom. It has like a distinct sound. It's not like when compression, like boom, 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 like floors that were dropping and collapsing. This was ba boom, and like you felt a rumble in the ground, like almost like you wanted to grab onto something. That, to me, I knew that was an explosion. There was no doubt in my mind. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. We got down to the third floor and that's where the stairwell collapsed on us. And we had to dig our way out, now the building's coming down, we can't see nothing. Once again, I'm saying our prayers. It, it, you know, the, the, the show is over here now, this is it. And with that, all of a sudden, we're looking for another stairwell. Me and the lieutenant open the door, we find a body in, 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 in this closet. We were like, what the heck is that? Where did this come from? Holy shit, what's going on here? Something's crazy going on. We got, we, we got our way out of the third store, and that's where the maintenance fella, with a little flashlight, saved our lives. He was pointed over, and if it wasn't for him, we never would have found another stairwell. The building would have collapsed. So Willie, we, Willie Rodriguez? Willie Rodriguez. Thank, thank you, Willie. Mm -hmm. uh, he saved our lives. He saved about 12 guys' lives that day. At least. At least. Uh, we, uh... We got down to the lobby and everything was blown out, exploded, everything was, and we were the only ones in the lobby now. We're going, wait a second here, where is everybody? We, we was just, you know, you think about it, you, you say something else had to go on here. Something else was going on here. This just don't happen like this if when a plane hits the 80th floor of a building and the lobby gets blown out. Sorry, I, I don't care, I don't care who, who you are. We're like, how is this happening? When the plane was up 50 more stories and and, uh, and, we, and the stairwell's collapsing on us, something wasn't right, man. Something wasn't right in Denmark that day. For the, every window in the lobby to be exploded, I mean, them windows were like as thick as forget it. They were two, three inch glasses, you know, come on. They exploded out of the lobby, you know, something, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't from the jet fuel. No way. The elevators exploded, they were down from the lobby. The lobby was over here. It, it, that should never have happened. Something would happen there, and that wasn't. That wasn't. <clears throat> we came down. It was. Look, it looked like a bomb went off in the lobby. There was no fire. It just looked like a bomb went off, and the building collapsed. The, the time and the things that went on between the plane, and by the time the buildings came down, there was a lot of things that happened. It makes you really wonder what went on there. And that's. And that's. You know. It's. 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 it's, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. There's too many things that went wrong that, 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 I mean, I don't like, you know, I'm not, I guess, an expert on a plane in the building, but just me being in there and experiencing what I've seen and dealt with, something wasn't right that day. And I think everybody in that lobby knew it. As you look at their faces and you could see fear, death, 
destruction happening in seconds.